Pero bago natin simulan, eh, alam mo bang isa ang 1x bet sa mga leading betting company sa buong mundo? Kaya naman wag nang magdalawang isip pa at tumalpak na. Round 20 had plenty, so let's jump right on in. It's your Hungry Jacks NBL Top 10 at number 10. Just watch Ariel Huck 40. The Melbourne big man can't quite get his hands on this thing, but that doesn't stop him from going up and swatting dang dang. Wild action in the fourth quarter, but the big fella doing his part to restore some order that gets in at number 10. On to number nine, where Johnson catches the ball in the post and quickly, Daniel puts this pass on the mantle. And here's a little tip. Never leave Kai Sato alone at the throne, because if you do, he'll be throwing it home. Kai on the fly gets in at number nine. At eight, after a Perth offensive board, it's Bryce Cotton on the fly as he drives right by Nate Jawai and drops a dime that finds Luke Travers lurking in behind. You can't give two chances to the Wildcats or their MVP will put you on the map. Perth in at number eight. We're up to number seven and we've all seen a buzzer beater, but how about a buzzer beater defeater? Just check out the defense of the highlight machine from the Philippines. Kai reaches to the sky to deny Xavier on the fly and that gets in at number seven. On to number six and it's Illawarra playing a perfect give and go for the South Pole Spike Hammer throw. Tyler Harvey sees Big Sam break free and frawling just mauling the Kings as he crushes this thing at number six for the Hawks. At number five, Yude Bubba heroically racing back and giving no slack. And folks, the reason Melbourne signed Yude again on full display as his hustle and commitment earns the number five play. We're up to number four where we always get up off the floor. And on this one, three guys went up, but Vic Law got the stuff. Kyle Zunick threw it up in the forest, but Law emerged at the top to dramatically score this for Perth. At number four. At number three, Keanu Pinder with a nice move down the lane, but Ariel Huckporty with some footwork that will make coaches hide their eyes, but somehow he comes out on the other side to rise and deny. Just incredible ability and agility helps the Melbourne big man deny the slam. At number three. On to number two, where Pinder's top 10 revenge begins with a McCall steal of the ball. And then on the other end, to Gier down the lane with no fear, but just when he seemed to run out of space, the Cairns Taipans man found one more ace. It's Keanu coming through for number two for the Taipans. But at number one, less than 30 seconds to go and down for Southeast Melbourne gets just what they need. A quick steal and then they get it to Creek. But quicker than a stitch in time, Josh does some once in a lifetime Mitch denying. Adams rises like a phoenix to deny the phoenix and the jack jumpers viciously correcting their blunder get them in at number one